Hello friends, welcome to Quick Glance videos. Today we will discuss about asexual vegetative reproduction. It is divided into two parts. First part will cover some of the uh, modes of reproduction and second part the rest of the mode will be covered. What is reproduction? It is a biological process in which the organism gives birth to the offspring or the young ones which may be similar uh, which may be different to them. So there are two modes of reproduction in organism that is asexual and sexual methods. So we will be looking into sex, asexual reproduction in plants. So if we define asexual reproduction or if we see the features of asexual reproduction, it is done by single organism that reproduces without the genetic input of another organism. It is done by a single organism and it produces nearly exact copy of itself. So the parent and the offspring are exact co copy. The copy of each other, the genetic identity of the parents. So they have same genetical identity of the parents. And this is often done uh, for rapid multiplication. So uh, when, that, when that organism uh, multiplies rapidly, so this type of asexual reproduction mode is uh, taking place. The vegetative parts which reproduced have primary and secondary meristems. So they have primary and secondary meristems which are capable of active cell division that's the reason how it multiplies so the the cells have capability of active cell division so these are some features of asexual reproduction now uh, asexual reproduction in plants we have vegetative reproduction and vegetative propagation now vegetative reproduction is a form where the multicellular structure the multicellular structure becomes detached from the parent plant and develops into a new individual. So that means a multicellular structure which is created initially gets attached, it gets detached and forms a new individual, independent plant. In vegetative propagation, in this type the cells do not split, but the reproduced organism grow from the extension of the parent plant. So this extension from the parent plant, parent plant is still connected to the offspring and the um, uh, offspring grows. Now, we, we, there are different types of vegetative reproduction. So, in the first part, we will be covering bulbs, tunicated bulbs, imbricate blood, comb, tuber, stem tuber, root tuber. In the second part of the video, it is another video, we will be covering runners, adventitious roots, suckers, stolon, rhizomes, and plantless. So, the two different modes, two different videos, we will be covering the complete topic. Bulbs. These are the inflated parts of the stem with which lies the central shoot of the new plant. So there is a central shoot of new plant is inside this bulb, typically underground and are surrounded by a plump and layered leaves that provide nutrients to the new plant. For example, garlic and tulips, the shallots. So these are the example for bulb. Now bulb can be divided into two parts. One is tunicated bulb, that's also called true bulb. A tunicated bulb has a paper-like covering or tunic that protects the the protects the scales from drying. So the outer side of the tunicate bulb has a paper covering which protects the internal fleshy leaves from getting dried up. So that's the one one of the type of bulb, and uh, and it also protects it from the mechanical injury. It also protects from mechanical injury. So you will find in case of tulips, daffodils, the outer part has a small papery covering which protects the inner developing leaves. And the flower bud is, this is the flower bud. So this outer part of paper covering is called tunic. Imbricate bulb. I am going all details in brief with some examples so that you can easily understand for exams and you can uh, attend the questions related to this. The imbricate bulb does not have the tunic, the papery covering. So this is the main difference between a tunicated and non-tunicate bulb. Uh, there is no covering to protect. They have to be constantly kept moist before the planting, else the outer side becomes dry and there is a possibility of injury. For example, lily bulb. So there is no uh, papery covering and it is fresh. For example, you can see here. So before planting, you have to keep it moist to avoid any injuries. 
This also a story structure of plant. They are swollen underground stem with dry scale leaves, and this dry scale leaves covers them. And uh, the example for corn. This is also means of vegetative propagation. Gladiolus, Crocus, Crocosomia. So these are the examples of uh, corn type of uh, vegetative propagation. Tuber. A tuber is a part of the plant that grows beneath the soil surface. So this is a main feature which grows beneath the soil surface. The tuber is used by plant to store valuable nutrients and water. This is the functionality for tuber. It store valuable nutrients and water. This is a, acts as a reserve. This acts as reserve for the nutrients during the stress period of say drought or during the winter months. So this reserve acts helps the plant to survive during the stress conditions. Now we have two types of tubers: stem tuber, root tuber. <coughs> stem tuber. The stem tuber is a swollen stem that stores water and nutrients. It's a modification of stem. Uh, the stem tuber generally from the surface near the surface of the soil. So it is the ne next feature is near the surface of the soil, and they have several nodes and eye that develops into new plant. So the new plant is developed. They have several nodes and eyes, which are called eyes, uh, which develops into a plant. Also, stem tuber produces chlorophyll when exposed to sunlight. You must have seen in in potato some 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 portion of the potato becomes green some portion becomes green that is due to the exposure of to the sunlight when it exposed to sunlight it turns green so this is the example for stem tuber potato which is a very common example you can see uh, the shoots the stem the eye which develops into the uh, a new plant this is germination taking place in a new plant root tubers root tuber is a modified lateral roots is a modified lateral roots that works as a storage unit for the plant is also called root crop we call it root crop the root tuber performs all the general function which is related to roots like absorption of water minerals anchoring of plant body to soil these are the common functions which is done by the root tubers it also helps in propagation the stem tuber processes apical bud at the tip while root tubers does not process any apical bud so this is one type of tubers which helps in vegetative reproduction so this is an example beetroot carrot dahlias so you can see the lateral roots developed into a tuber root tuber which has reserve of nutrients and everything in carrot you can see so in this first part of the videos we have covered bulbs tunicated bulb imbricate bulb comb tuber stem tuber and root tuber in the second part we will be covering the runners adventitious roots suckers stolon and rhizome and plantless keep watching these are few questions we could answer in the comment area what is the vegetative reproduction how vegetative reproduction in banana takes place what is difference between vegetative reproduction in potato and carrot and keep watching the next video which is the second part of this vegetative reproduction thank you